when I go to the darkroom, into the darkroom, before I start working, I do have a story, a basic story, which I'm going to tell with the beginning and with the, what is the Climax, or climax so to speak, and an ending. A story I deeply believe in. I choose some footage to work with, and, and, and I study it very closely, uh, basically learning it by heart over the course of half a year. Um, every sequence, every scene, every gestures, you have to have it somewhere stored in your memory. And that is something like my, my vocabulary, where I form and create and tell a new story. I have a cardboard, but on top of that cardboard, I put one meter of unexposed raw footage, which equals two seconds of projection time. And on top of that unexposed raw footage, I put some carefully selected found footage. I take uh, a light source, which it was in the case of uh, outer space and dream work, mainly a laser pointer. <laughs> then, I start, <laughs> and then I start copying by uh, copying frame number one, a tiny little part of it. And I move on to frame number two, a selected part. And frame three and frame four. Then I take away that meter of found footage and replace it with another meter of found footage onto the same meter of raw footage, of course. And I do that up to, in the case of outer space, five times, and in the case of Dreamwork, up to seven layers of, of bzz, 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 bzz. And then, finally, I hand process the raw footage in, dark room. in the dark room. I have plenty of time to, to think about what, go, what I'm going to do next, which basically I knew in advance, but it might change. So somehow the story changes, evolves, and develops during that process.